I don't ever want to give people a reason more than they already have to hate me, so. <laughs> had had the script in his production company and uh, I had a meeting with Paramount and he has his deal with Paramount and they said you should read it and I read it and really liked it and mentioned that and they were like okay cool and then Lazy Sunday happened and they were like we should make it. I mean they all are because they're all actors you know like anyone who wants to be an actor has got to be kind of a weirdo. I've, I've enjoyed everyone that we've worked with you know like Jack Black, obviously, is a kick-ass dude. Um, Steve Martin, meeting him was like a dream come true. I accept it as perfection and keep on existing in the now. I can only build if I tear the walls down. Even if it breaks me, I will let it make me frown. I'm falling, but no matter how hard I hit the ground. I mean, the ultimate hope is that people who like broad stuff and people who like indie stuff can be into it because that's how we are. So I feel like that is kind of how the movie is, like it's got a little bit of both. The fear obviously is that it's straddling both so much that no one can totally get behind it. But I feel like, I don't know, it makes me laugh. I laugh when I watch the movie, so, and I've seen it a lot. So, like already just there, I'm kind of happy about it, I'm happy with it. I think all three of us feel like we did a good, good enough job with it and that our personal taste has been quenched with it, um, and everything from that point on is just kind of a bonus, but obviously we hope we make a shitload of money, because <laughs> then we can keep making movies. Um, the movie makes a shitload of money, I should say, we're not going to make any more on it no matter what, but <laughs> yeah, I mean you hope the best for everything you put a lot of time and work into, we definitely have a lot.